السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر جنید جہانگیر عباسی اینڈ آئی ایم سینئر رجسٹرار ان پیڈیٹکس ایٹ راہل پنڈی میڈیکل یونیورسٹی ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو کرینیل نرو ایگزامینیشن سو دا فرسٹ اسٹیپ از ٹو انٹروڈیوس یور سیلف ٹیک دا کنسینٹ ڈو دا پراپر ایکسپوجر السلام علیکم میرا نام ڈاکٹر جنید ہے اور میں نے آپ کا معائنہ کرنا ہے انشاءاللہ دوران معائنہ آپ کو تکلیف نہیں ہوگی اوکے تھینک یو دا فرسٹ کرینیل نرو از اور فیکٹری کرینیل نرو ان آڈر ٹو چیک دا اور فیکٹری کرینیل نرو you should have something to smell like you may have some scent in a small piece of bottle and you need to explain the procedure <clears throat> so currently i have i have this car and i have put some put a piece of perfume on this car so it smells good now <clears throat> in a in exam setting you should have some some bottle of scent with you Now I will explain to the patient. Beta, this card is coming from this card. You have to close your eyes. I will put this card on your side, then I will put it on the other side. You have to tell me if you have to smell it well, and if you have to smell it well, or not. Okay? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. This card is coming from this card. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Okay, good. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Okay, good. Thank you. So, this is examination of Or factory now. <clears throat> the second is uh, optic nerve. So optic nerve has four parts. One is field, uh, visual activity. The other is color vision. Third is field of vision, and fourth is fundoscopy. So ideally, the visual activity should be checked by Snellen chart. But in exam settings, you can make a crude method. Beta, e kya likha hua hai? S. आप एक वर्ड नजदीक से पढ़ा लें और फिर बेटा वो पहला वर्ड क्या लिखा हुआ है जी ओके सो इफ द चाइल्ड इज एबल टू रीड अ वर्ड नियर यू एंड अ वर्ड फार फ्रॉम यू देन रफली द विजुअल एक्टिविटी इज फाइन नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू चेक सो इन ऑर्डर टू चेक द कलर विजन आइडली यू शुड हैव इशारा चार्ज बट इफ यू डोंट हैव इशारा चार्ज यू कैन जस्ट चेक द चेक वेदर द चाइल्ड कैन डिफिनशियट बिटवीन द ग्रीन एंड द रेड बेटा ये कौन सा कलर है ये कौन सा कलर है ओके सो इज एबल टू डिफिनशियट बिटवीन द रेड एंड ग्रीन इट मीन द कलर विजन इज नॉन इज द फील्ड ऑफ विजन फॉर फील्ड ऑफ विजन आइडियली यू शुड सिट एट द सेम प्लेस एट द सेम लेवल वेर द चाइल्ड इज सिटिंग द पेशेंट लेवल and your level should be same you have to close one eye and you have to make the patient close his one eye beta apni ye aankh is pe hath rakhe jo aankh wo band karega uske samne wali aapne apni aankh bhi band kar deni hai don't allow the patient to move his head beta apna sar nahi hilana aapne aapne meri aankh mein dekhna hai then Tell him what are you going to do. बेटा मैं ये हाथ की हरकत करूंगा जब आपको हाथ नजर आना शुरू हो जाए आपने मुझे कहना है कि यस यस बोलना है ठीक है देखना मेरी तरफ है गुड दोबारा बेटा मुझे यस बोलना है जब मेरा हाथ नजर आना शुरू हो जाए देखना मेरी तरफ है गुड अब अपनी ये आंख बंद कर ले बेटा जो आंख वो बंद करता है उससे उसके सामने वाली अपनी आंख भी बंद करना है फिर से बेटा जब मेरा हाथ नजर आना शुरू हो जाए तो यस बोलना है yes. जब दोबारा नजर आना शुरू हो जाए तो यस बोलना है आपने मेरी तरफ देखना है गुड सो बेसिकली यू आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर योर फील्ड ऑफ विजन विद पेशेंट फील्ड ऑफ विजन सो बोथ ऑफ यू शुड बी एट द सेम लेवल नाउ द फोर्थ थिंग इज फंडोस्कोपी इफ यू है फंडोस्कोप इन एग्जामिनेशन इफ इट इज एन अंडर ग्रेजुएट एग्जामिनेशन यू मे omit the fundoscope and just tell the examiner that i want to do fundoscopy of the patient but if you are in a post graduate examination you must have a fundoscope with you and you must do the fundoscopy uh, in order to complete the examination which i did so this was the examination of uh, the optic nerve now come to the oculomotor nerve the third cranial nerve which is the oculomotor nerve in third cranial nerve first of all look for the presence of ptosis is there ptosis present or not 
Then look for the size of the pupil. First without the torch, then with the torch. And when you apply the torch, you will also do the right light reflex. The light reflex is of two types. One is the direct light reflex in, in which you put the light in one eye and see the pupil reconstruction in that eye and the other is consensual light reflex in which you place the hand of the patient between both eyes you put the light in one eye and you see the pupil reconstruction in the other eye this is called consensual light reflex Thank you. so light reflex is part of examination of the cranial nerve so after checking doses and the light reflex, you need to check the accommodation reflex. For accommodation reflex, again, first of all, tell the patient to see something far and then you will <coughs> tell him to see something near. Better both dur dekhe. Ab meri unhi ko You will notice that when the patient is looking far, and right from the far place when he is going to look something near, like the finger near him, whether his eyeballs are converging, whether the pupil gets constricted. If the eyeballs are converging and the pupil get constricted, that means that the accommodation reflex is intact. So, doses, light reflex, both the direct and consensual, then the accommodation reflex. So, now the extraocular movements. <clears throat> When you do the extra ocular, muscle, uh, extra ocular movement, you not only do the examination of the third cranial nerve, but you are also checking the fourth and sixth cranial nerve. You will make an edge. You will make. You will move the finger in an edge-shaped manner, making an edge. The patient will look at your finger, and if he is able to make the edge, it means the third, fourth, and sixth cranial nerve nerves. Are intact. Bitta, you have to look at your eyes. 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 You have to Good. That means the third, fourth, and sixth cranial nerves are intact. <clears throat> now the fifth cranial nerve. The fifth cranial nerve has both sensory part and the motor part. It, it supplies <clears throat> sensory nerve supply to the cornea and it supplies uh, sensory nerve supply to the ophthalmic division, the mandibular division, and the maxillary division. Like it has three branches here, here, and here. So you should have. Assalamu alaikum, I am Dr. Junaid Jahangir Abbasi and I am Senior Registrar in Pediatrics at Robert Bundy Medical University. Today we are going to do cranial nerve examination. <clears throat> so the first step is to introduce yourself, take the consent, do the proper exposure. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Dr. Junaid and I have to do your work. Inshallah, you will not be able to do your work. Okay? Thank you. <clears throat> the first cranial nerve is olfactory cranial nerve. In order to check the olfactory cranial nerve, you should have something to smell. Like you may have some scent in a small piece of bottle and you need to explain the procedure. <clears throat> so currently I have I have this car and I have put some put a piece of perfume on this car. So it smells good. Now <clears throat> in a in exam setting you should have some, some bottle of scent with you. Now I will explain to the patient. Beta, card se pushbu aari hai. Aapne apni aankhe band karni hai. Main ye card pehle aapki naak ki ek side pe lagaunga, fir naak ki dusri side pe rakunga. Aapne bhi bhi batana hai kya aapko iski smell thik aari hai aur kya aap dono side pe barabar smell aari hai ya nahi. Thik hai? Aankhe band kare. Smell aari hai. Okay, good. Smell aari hai. Okay, good. Kya dono side pe barabar smell aari hai? Okay, good. Thank you. So this is examination of or factory nerve. The second is optic nerve. So optic nerve has four parts. One is 
field, uh, visual activity, the other is color vision, third is field of vision and fourth is fundoscopy. So ideally the visual activity should be checked by Snellen chart but in exam settings you can make a crude method. Beta, e kya likha hua hai? S. Aap ek word nazdik se padha lehen aur phir beta, wo pehla word kya likha hua hai? G. G. Okay. So if the child is able to read a word near you and a word far from you, then roughly the visual equity is fine. Now in order to check the color vision, you ideally you should have a share chart. But if you don't have a share chart in the exam, you should have a green card and a red card and you just need to make the child understand what is green and what is red. 